Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 34 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about drilling down and displaying hierarchical data in an ASP.NET Grid View using SQL Data Source Control. Let me explain what I mean by this. In my SQL Server database, I've got three tables. The first table is TBL Continents table, which has got continent ID and continent name columns. The second table is TBL Countries table, which has got country ID, country name, and continent ID columns. Continent ID column is the foreign key in this table, which can be used to look up all the countries that belong to a specific continent. And the third table is TBL Cities table, which has got city ID, city name, and country ID columns. Country ID is the foreign key in this table which can be used to look up all the cities belonging to a specific country. Now, I want to display the data that is present in these three tables within grid view controls in an ASP.NET web application. Now, when the web form first loads, we only want to display the continents. Once I select a continent, then the countries belonging to that continent should then be displayed within the second grid view control. Once I select a country, then the cities belonging to that country should be displayed you know, in the third grid view control. Let's see how to achieve this. Obviously, we need three grid view controls you know, for this. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's drag and drop three grid view controls onto this web form. So that's grid view 1, grid view 2, and grid view 3. Let's set the auto format for all the three grid view controls. Let's choose brown sugar scheme for all of them. All right. So to retrieve data for each grid view control, let me drag and drop three SQL data source controls as well. So SQL data source one, two, and three. So obviously within the first grid view control, we want to display continents information. So let's configure SQL data source one control. Select the connection string from web.config file, click next. The table is TBL continents table. We want to retrieve all the rows and columns, so select star from TBL continents. Click next, test your query, finish. Now let's associate SQL data source one control with our grid view one control. At this point, we have continents, uh, you know, continent ID and continent name displayed within the grid view control. But look at this, we also want the select button. And to do that, all you need to do is, you know, check this box, enable selection. This should display the select button next to every row. Okay, so we are done. Now let's configure the second SQL data source control to retrieve the countries. Now look at here, when I select a specific continent, then I want to load the countries belonging to that continent only within the second grid view control. We don't want all the countries. Okay, let's see how to configure the second SQL data source control to do that. Okay, so let's configure this. Configure data source. Let's connect, um, you know, select the connection string, select our table, which is TBL countries. Now, we don't want all the rows from TBL countries. We want to include a where clause. We want to filter some of the rows. So click on the where button. Now, how do we want to filter that? So in the first grid view control, the user will select, you know, a row. From that grid view control, we will pass continent ID. Okay, so based on the continent ID, we need to filter the rows. So the column on which I'm going to filter is continent ID, which should be equal to, you know, a value that is going to come from a control. Okay, from which control is going, is it going to come from? From grid view one control. So I select control here and then specify the ID of the control, which is grid view one. Okay, now I'm using the selected value property of grid view one okay which will be assigned to this parameter at continent id so click this add button and then click ok okay click next now you have the opportunity to test your query so obviously this is going to be a parameterized query so we need to supply a value for this parameter for example now if i pass two here and click ok i should get all the continents that are in europe which are united kingdom france germany all right, click Finish. Now let's associate SQL Data Source 2 control with Grid View 2 control. And obviously, even in Grid View 
two control we want to enable selection because once I select a country we want to show cities within the third grid view control so I'm gonna check this box here enable selection okay look at that it it will display country ID country name content ID and I have select buttons and the final step is to basically configure SQL data source 3 control okay to retrieve cities information so configure data source uh, select your connection string from web.config file click next it's going to be TBL city again we don't want to retrieve all the rows we want to include a filter because once I select a country I want to load only the cities that belong to that country so let's use the where clause and then the column on which I'm going to filter them is country ID that should be equal to you know a controls value which control grid view 2 control because grid view 2 is what dis is displaying countries so select that so grid view 2 dot selected value click on the add button click OK click next you can test your query so let's say if I pass 1 as the country ID click OK I should get all the um, you know basically cities which belong to you know that country in this case India click finish now let's associate SQL data source 3 control with grid view 3 control that's it we are done now let's go ahead and run this and see the output so when the web form renders it should only display uh, continents first and then look at this I don't have anything selected when I click select on Asia I get all the countries that are in Asia India Japan Malaysia now once I select the country I should now load all the cities that belong to that country similarly when I select Japan I should see the cities there okay I can also change the continent look at this when I select the continent Europe you know the country France is selected and the cities within France are displayed okay the important thing to notice here is if you look at the source of this web form notice data key names property here for the first grid view control the data key names property is continent ID now what happens if I remove this data key names property okay let me remove that save it and let's run this project now look at this we are going to get you know a runtime exception what is it saying data keys must be specified on grid view grid view one before the selected data keys can be retrieved now what actually happens is when you select a row by clicking on the select button you know the selected value property will use that data key okay which in this case is continent ID so if you don't set that that value you cannot use that property that's the reason why it's very important we set data key names property so data key names is equal to continent ID so once we put this back it should work you know as normal so let me run this and everything should be back to normal all right on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day